anakumbukwa kupigania uhuru wa watu wa Zimbabwe Let the British people leave our country and get out pamoja na Robert Mugabe walisukumwa gerezani kwa zaidi ya miaka kumi wakidai uhuru wa Zimbabwe wakati huo ikiongozwa na Ian Smith We are prepared to bring black people into our government to work with them and I think we have got to accept it in the future Rhodesia is a country for blacks and whites and therefore it is going to be governed by blacks and whites Alimkosoa rais Mugabe wakati kulipokuwa na tofauti kubwa kati ya wandebele na washona People in a number of const constituencies in northern Matabeleland and southern Matabeleland find themselves being beaten up by people who call themselves Abafana, the boys. We had the boys during the war. The war is over. There is nobody who can claim to do the stupid things, the dissidency in the name of Zabu. We know that they are agents of ZANU PF. I've told them that. Alijitetea alipotajwa na Rais Mugabe kuwa msaliti kwa nchi yake. I have suffered. I have worked so hard for this country before independence. During the war, I worked so hard after independence to make our independence stick. And this man today turns around and he calls me a traitor me a traitor a man who worked for this country so much there is no insult to be this one aliwahi kuwa makamu rais wa robert mugabe kabla afariki mwaka 1999 katika makala ya mirathi ya siasa ile leo tunaangazia maisha ya mwanasiasa wa zimbabwe joshua nkomo aliyekuwa kiongozi wa zapu na kutaka kuongoza zimbabwe ili popata huru na hata baadaye mimi ni paul nabiswa Joshua Nkomo ni mtu alionekana kuwa kala na kashiba. Alizaliwa na walimu wa kimishonari mwaka 1117 huko Matebele na alianza masomo yake ya msingi huko Rhodesia kabla ya kuelekea Afrika Kusini alikokamilisha masomo yake huko Natal Johannesburg. Nkomo ambaye alipata shahada yake katika chuo kikuu cha Afrika Kusini huko Johannesburg na pia akawa kiongozi wa kuwatetea wafanyikazi weusi wa reli. Alinao akili yake nchini Afrika Kusini na wakati huo alikutana na viongozi waliokuwa wakipinga ubaguzi wa rangi nchini humo kama vile Nelson Mandela na viongozi wengine wa kanda alirejea kwa obla wayo na akawa mwanaharakati wa utetezi wa wafanyikazi alikopigania haki za wafanyikazi weusi wa shirika la reli alichaguliwa kuwa kiongozi wa ANC tawi la Rhodesia kwani kabla iitwe Zimbabwe ilikuwa ikiitwa Rhodesia Kusini Rhodesia Kaskazini ilikuwa Zambia kisha Nyasaland ilikuwa ni Malawi zote hizi zilikuwa chini ya Afrika Kusini na ndio sababu alijihusisha na harakati za ANC ambayo ilikuwa ya Nelson Mandela Oliver Tambo na Walter Sisulu miongoni mwa wengine. Mara aliponekana mbele ya wafuasi wake kulikuwa na msisimko wa kipekee kwa kiongozi huyo aliyekuwa mkubwa kwa cheo, umri na umbo ikilinganishwa na wapiganaji wengine wa uhuru wa Afrika mosi hizo. Katika miaka ya hamsini na sitini alikuwa kiongozi wa makundi kadhaa ambayo yalipigwa marufuku na utawala wa kikoloni wa Uingereza. The era of civilized control in southern Rhodesia isn't estimated in a period of two years as some people have tried to not even in ten years as other people have tried to stretch it a little bit I would say we don't even as far as we are concerned stretch the era of civilization in southern Rhodesia to a hundred years as far as we are concerned it has got to be for all time <laughs> wakati ANC ilipopigwa marufuku mwaka 1959 nkomo alielekea England ili kukwepa kukamatwa na kutiwa gerezani alirejea mwaka 1960 na kubuni chama cha National Democratic Party NDP mwaka 1961 na hiyo NDP ilipopigwa marufuku Nkomo alibuni vuguvugu la Zapu mwaka elfu moja kenda mia stina mbili ambalo lilihusishwa na jina lake lakini hiyo Zimbabwe African Peoples Union yani Zapu 
ilipigwa marufuku haraka kuliko ilivyobuniwa na kwa sababu alionekana kuwa mwiba kwa serikali ya Beberu ambayo ilikuwa ikiongozwa na Ian Smith alizuiliwa kutoka mwaka 1964 hadi mwaka 1974 akionekana kuwa jasiri miongoni mwa Afrika waliokuwa wakinyanyaswa na wakoloni After the break of the talks we had with the Smith regime it was necessary for us to put our friends into the picture we have started this in Kenya here and we should be moving to Uganda and then through Europe one or two countries to a number of countries in West Africa uh, one other thing is that the three of us here were in prison for quite a long spell of 11 years we came out at the time there was an attempt by our friends the four presidents of countries surrounding Zimbabwe who through their contact made it possible for us to make an attempt to find out whether the problem of Zimbabwe after 10 years of war could be solved by talking akiwa huko gerezani kiongozi wa serikali ya Rhodesia Ian Smith mwaka 1965 alitangaza kuwa ilikuwa imepata uhuru kutoka kwa Uingereza jambo ambalo halikukubaliwa na umoja wa mataifa hata hivyo kulikuwa na ushindani baina ya Waafrika wenyewe waliokuwa wakipigania uhuru Komo alikuwa akiondokea katika kabila dogo la Ndebele na baada ya kubuni zapu iligawanyika kwa merengo ya kabila na kulikuwa na kabila kubwa la Shona chini aliyekuwa mpiganaji wa Nkomo Robert Mugabe wakati alipoachiliwa uhuru Nkomo alitafuta hifadhi nchini Zambia na wapiganaji wake wa Zapu wakaunda jeshi la mapinduzi ambalo lilikuwa likipigania uhuru wa Zimbabwe huko ambalo lilikuwa likiungwa mkono na muungano wa Sovieti ndio sababu mara kwa mara Nkomo alijigamba kuwa jeshi la wapiganaji la Mstuni lilikuwa imara na thabiti Our army you know is not a salvation army It's not a salvation army to beat the drums and when the church is over to walk away to their homes No no It is there to defend what it has won. We're not going to hand it to that power to somebody else when we have been fighting. We tell everybody to hand power to someone else. The liberation forces are there. We have regular forces for information apart from guerrilla fighters to take over. The police and all make no mistake about that. This is why we are saying to to the good doctor talk with us about the war and the end to the war and then who will control during that period what force because we have got the force for him we have got the army for him if he wants to but you didn't start talking about i suppose the commonwealth i suppose the, no no we are not you know we are not fighting to suppose we are fighting to take over power alikemea kwa hali zote mamlaka za Uingereza kutokana na ukoloni uliokuwa ukiendelea discuss with them discuss what did they discuss when they were still in our country we have been patient very long we say full stop Robert Mugabe naye alipoachiliwa alikimbilia Msumbiji na vuguvugu lake la Zanu naye pia alikuwa akipata msaada wa kijeshi kutoka Uchina Wakati wakipambana Zimbabwe iwe nchi huru, nchi jirani kama vile Tanzania na Zambia zilikuwa kwa mstari wa mbele kutaka Rhodesia Kusini kuwa jamhuri, lakini kiongozi wakati huo Ian Smith akisisitiza kuwa Zimbabwe haikuwa tayari kupata uhuru kwa uongozi wa Mwafrika. I don't believe in black majority rule ever in Rhodesia, not in a thousand years. I repeat, I believe in black and whites working together. If one day it's white and the next day it is black I believe we will have failed and I think it will be a disaster for Rhodesia. 
mwaka elfu moja kenda mia sabina sita nkomo na mugabe wakiwa viongozi wa zapu na zanu pamoja na aliyekuwa kiongozi wa rodesha kusini walielekea jeniva katika kongamano na wote kwa maana ya nkomo na mugabe e, wakadai uhuru wa zimbabwe we have not come here to work out what some people call a peaceful settlement there is no question of a peaceful settlement i say there is no question of a peaceful settlement because there has been a war in zimbabwe for the last 10 years what we have come here to do is to work out a constitution that must remove the causes of that war at the same time as we negotiate we also remain determined that the armed struggle shall continue <coughs> and in fact gain momentum until total power is transferred to us our approach to the conference has already been made public in as much as we have announced that the theme of the conference must be the transference of power and the achievement of independence. And this necessarily excludes the Kissinger plan about which we are not consulted and which stands completely rejected by us and all the masses of Zimbabwe behind us. Hata hivyo katika vita vya kupigania uhuru wa iliyoitwa Zimbabwe baadaye mbali na Nkomo na Mugabe alikuwepo askofu Abel Mzorewa ambaye alikuwa kati ya wapiganaji wa Afrika japo mwenye msimamo wa kadri wapiganaji wa mstuni hata hivyo walimuona kuwa kikaragosi kilichotumwa na watawala weupe Askofu Mzorewa aliingia siasani wakati Mugabe na Nkomo walikuwa gerezani mwaka elfu moja kenda mia na sabini na alipinga kutumia mabavu katika kutafuta uhuru wa Zimbabwe. Well as far as I'm concerned the, uh, the, the transition government's policy is that the elections are on course and uh, someone has to come with a real reason that would convince me and my party that it is necessary to postpone but otherwise as far as i'm concerned we are on course and it is disastrous to try to for any reason to try to to change the date of finish utawala wa smith ulionekana kushirikiana naye jambo ambalo liliwaudhi wapiganaji wa kiafrika kama vile joshua nkomo he discussed six files ebo mzorewa He discussed his file to every the minister. What is Britain up to? If Britain is not very sure yet as to who is fighting, then Britain must just halt and let us do the job. And we are not going to have a conference. We shall end this thing. State. And we will have not Itabia Smith iliwaudhi pia viongozi wa Kiafrika kama vile mwalimu Julius Kambarage Nyerere, rais wa awamu ya kwanza wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania. It much more difficult for us now to explain the the fact that Smith has the power that it is not uh, it is not uh, the bishop who is waging that war on Zambia poor man he he can't wage that war on Zambia he doesn't have the guts he doesn't have the means to wage that war he can't wage it he can't stop it kutokana na ukuruba wake na serikali ya Smith utawala wa Uingereza ulipoisha mwaka 1979 alikuwa waziri mkuu wa muda wa nchi iliyoitwa wakati huo Zimbabwe Rhodesia japo kwa kipindi kifupi sana na uchaguzi huru ulipofanywa mwaka 1980 baada ya mkutano wa mafikiano wa Lancaster ambao ulitoa nafasi ya uhuru wa Zimbabwe Robert Mugabe alishinda 
Askofu Mzorewa alipata viti vitatu tu vya bunge kati ya mia moja na uwepo wake siasani ukazima ghafla kwa jinsi hiyo. Joshua Nkomo alitaka kuwa kiongozi wa Zimbabwe kwa dhati, lakini chama chake cha Zapu kilipata viti ishirini tu huku Zanu ya Robert Mugabe ikipata viti ya msina saba katika bunge la viti mia moja. Nkomo alikerwa na ushindi wa Mugabe ambaye alichukua nafasi ya waziri mkuu na akajiunga na baraza la waziri la Mugabe ambayo ilikuwa serikali ya muungano akawa waziri wa mambo ya ndani moja ya wizara muhimu zaidi wakati huo lakini huyo nkomo mwenyewe hakuridhika na jukumu hilo aliutaka mnofu aliokuwa nao Mugabe hata hivyo nkomo alijitenga na madai kuwa alikuwa akimbisha Mugabe let these criminals get out of these provinces now and let us have a free and fair election undisturbed by young people who have no respect for their parents who have no respect for their country who do evil things in the name of a party that is dedicated to peace and tranquility and that is Zap, PF Zapu I say to you now if you come across those men who call themselves boys get hold of the buggers get your spears spear them up and call the police wapo baadhi ya watu waliopendekeza kuwa nkomo awe rais asiyekuwa na mamlaka lakini akakatalia mbali nafasi hiyo akaitoa mwinjilisti kanan banana mzozo huu uliokuwa umeanza kuonekana na jamii ya kimataifa na rais wa Tanzania wakati huo Julius Kambarage Nyerere akaonya Zimbabwe kuwa ilikuwa inaelekea katika hatari kubwa without unity zimbabwe is in danger without unity zimbabwe will betray africa talk talk argue quarrel with words and work together the people have spoken they've chosen their leaders that right is what we were fighting for it is what you have you were dying for you won that right zimbabwe is free tanzania congratulates you mwaka 1182 kulikuwa na madai kuwa zapu kwa mwongozo wa nkomo ilikuwa ikipanga mapinduzi na Mugabe ambaye alikuwa waziri mkuu alimfuta kazi na pasi yake ya safari ikatwaliwa na serikali na akaagizwa kutulia bila kuondoka nyumbani kwao Bulawayo Is it war? Is it peace? A prime minister of this country to ask this question does he not know that the war ended in 1930 19 No no not 89 79 in 1979 that was the end of the war we are dedicated to peace if only zanu pf will withdraw their agents who are behaving as dissidents this country will be free mzozo huo ulipozidi katika miaka ya 80 nusura kuzuke vita vya wenyewe kwa wenyewe maelfu ya wakazi wa matebele ambao walikuwa wandebele kabila la Joshua Nkomo waliwawa na vikosi vya serikali ya Mugabe kwa uelekezi waliyekuwa waziri wa usalama wa kitaifa Emerson Mnangagwa ambaye sasa ndiye rais wa Zimbabwe Mauaji hayo ya halaiki yaliyojulikana kuwa gukurahundi yalisababisha mgawanyiko mkubwa mno na kukawa na wito wa Mugabe kuzungumza na Nkomo ambaye alikuwa kakimbia Zimbabwe. Yes, there are uh, real uh, incidences or incidents brought to my notice. I cannot agree that they are carrying out any excesses at all. And finally when Josh Nkomo says that the answer to the dissident problem is a political settlement, well, what do you say to that? Well, this is precisely what he wants that we should settle the, uh, the question of the elections and the balance of power um the cross of pressure from this dictator now we want you to that who is common you see and what is up after all 
you see, the dissident uh, activity will eliminate, I can assure you. We have treated them with uh, kid gloves all along. But we are, got, we are going all out now to crush them. And we'll crush them. Mugabe alipomlaumu Nkomo kwa hali iliyokuwa Zimbabwe wakati huo Nkomo alijitetea na kusisitiza kuwa Mugabe alikuwa na chuki binafsi akalipuka hata zaidi na kusema kuwa uongozi wa ZANU PF ulikuwa umeshindwa kutoa mwelekeo nchini Zimbabwe In regard to the ZANU ZAPO relationship I'm sorry to say we have been deadlocked for far too long on the question of unity and the central committee of my party has recently decided that the talks be discontinued for they are serving no useful purpose i've never done anything wrong and robert knows it i told you this is for personal power let him stand up and deny it this is for personal power he's frightened of my stature he's frightened that he will not win the next election this is what he's doing trying to smear me that's very very sly very dirty don't expect of anybody who is who is supposed to be prime minister of a country hali ilipokuwa mbaya zaidi juhudi za upatanisho kati ya mugabe na nkomo zilifanywa na mwaka 1987 nkomo akafanywa moja wa makamu rais na ili kupunguza makali yake Mugabe akawa rais mwenye mamlaka huku Kanan Banana akiacha ngazi ya kuwa rais baada ya katiba Zimbabwe kubadilishwa na kuifanya kuwa nchi ya chama kimoja yani Zapu na Zanu ziliungana na chama tawala kikaitwa Zanu PF alipochukua wadhifa huo wafuasi wake wengi walichukizwa na msimamo huo lakini pia hali yake afya ilianza kudorora na kupunguza umaarufu wake Zimbabwe hata hivyo pamoja na hayo yote aliendelea kuwakashifu wazungu waliokuwa Zimbabwe kwa kukosa kuwakisi desturi za Afrika lakini pia wengi hawakupendelea mielekeo yake ya kihafidhina ya kupinga wanawake waliokuwa wakitaka usawa katika jamii huko Zimbabwe kwa ufupi alikuwa baba wa mfumo dume katika miaka yake ya mwisho mwisho duniani nkomo aliendelea kudhoofika kiafya na kukawa na minongono kuhusu aliyestahili kumrithi na kukawa vile vile na wasiwasi wa uwezekano wa mzozo kati ya wandebele ambako ni mizizi yake na washona ambako ni usuli wa Robert Mugabe na alipokata roho mwaka 1999 Mugabe alitoa risala nzito kumkumbuka nkomo ambaye alikuwa mpinzani wake tangu siku za vita vya mstuni and yet so simple and down to earth mazishi haya na lukuki ya watu kutoka mbali na karibu na wahadhi tofauti <tos> katika siasa za Zimbabwe kabla na baada ya uhuru na aliondoka duniani baada ya kukabiliwa na saratani akiwa na miaka 82 Paul Nabiswa makala ya mirathi ya siasa KTN News